So today we're in this beautiful Las Vegas temperature 110 outside and we're gonna look at this beautiful 2017 Huracan 580 LP582 which means that's two-wheel drive uh, Lamborghini Huracan and I want to show it to you the way this car uh, living right now and the way the condition exists on it and it's a fair review there is nothing to hide there is nothing to promote because that's the car a lot of people want to buy but nobody can afford it i mean not nobody a lot of people cannot afford it but they still want to buy this car and i want to ask myself and this car itself why somebody want to buy you to spend a lot of money on it and uh, are they going to enjoy it or what they're going to do let's face it Let's go a little bit back and see what the car used to worth back in 2017 when it was brand new. Again, that's 580 LP582, which means it's two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, right? It, it has V10 5.2 Audi engine. I do know that engine myself because I used to have 2006 Audi S6 with V10 5.2 engine and it was a huge mistake I did back like five years ago. And it was a lot of problems i couldn't even fix it but after i fixed all those problems there is more problems came and i just regret so whatever i sold that car to the guy and i think he still has it somewhere in the garage on the back side and cannot fix it because the maintenance for this engine is just super high dramatically and every time you want to do some maintenance on this car some job on the engine you want to drop the engine together with suspension rear subframe and this and that and that just non-stop job and non-stop spending money on the car so what i was gonna tell you that's the we do have a white color as original one now it's wrapped to the green and the interior it's red and uh, this lady or gentleman wants to probably buy it but right now she or he has a bicycle but sooner or later he might gonna afford it uh, as soon as the car gonna fall apart so there is a brakes on this car they're just regular brakes there is a, a ceramic brakes available it used to be available as an option, but uh, not basically this car got it. The wheel's not original. We see the Watson and it probably the original was crashed and fall apart as uh, all those Huracans. They are rental cars. They not. I mean, it's super rare when somebody buying this car and keeping it in, in the garage just to enjoy it in a one or two days a week, maybe a month. But other than that, just to keep it. No, those cars, it's Audi. They basically used to buy brand new just to rent it and squeeze all the juice from it, all the money, whatever they can get. And a lot of people who's driving it as a kid, you might gonna say, oh, they have a lot of money. No, they do not. You're gonna see a lot of maintenance required. You're gonna see the bolt tires, brakes are gone. There is a lot of scratches. All the panels, they just hang in and the scratches here, scratches there. They just not replacing the part because it's super expensive and they don't wanna do it. They just drive the check engine light on and all the other lights on just until the car gonna die it's gonna stop and they're gonna sell it on the craigslist and buy maybe the other one as soon as the money gonna come so okay let's let's go check it out all around the car so as you can see there's a huge gap on the front it's probably because of like probably because of usage you know but let's see if we do have some space in the front and we can put something uh we do have some space and there is some grocery available to carry on but other than that there is no trunk compartment there is no space available for your needs so basically the whole car it's made of plastic and aluminum some part like on the back there is a fiber carbon uh it's just so light so it can open uh, the rooftop and hold it back as i say the the white color used to be right now it's green there is a lot of mistakes the people done but maybe it was the first time who whoever done it and uh, as you can see the sensors they covered it with film they might gonna cut it later on so it, the light and the beep is not gonna be in the car present but the design of the car it looks so nice back in 2016 when the car used, was released uh it was just insane so the people were going crazy about it and everybody wants to jump in this car and just take a look at that how it looks inside and outside the headlights the whole design the, all the lines in the car it's beautiful i do love it a lot but i don't like any aftermarket parts especially on the supercars i don't like aftermarket teams i don't like aftermarket wraps or especially the ugly like that and uh, those sides whatever uh things 
whoever put it from Honda Accord, it's not supposed to be on this car. Uh, that's again, that's my opinion. Sometimes people want to buy it and do a lot of parts from AutoZone just to put it on, uh, but that's not the case about this car. So the first opinion you're gonna get from the car, as soon as you're gonna get the key for it, if somebody gonna hand it to you, or you might gonna take it yourself, number one, if you're familiar with Audi, you're gonna say right away, that's the Audi key, wow. And number two, you're gonna say the car seen a lot so and it's probably it's in the same condition as the key right now so as you can see the label the logo lumbo it's kind of cracked and pieces missing so because the thing itself to buy it's worth money but you do have a lot of other spots to put them your money in not on the key but i would say fix the key and get the new one just because that's representing the car itself so what are we going to say again about the design that's beautiful i mean it's engineering i'm not the engineer i'm not the audi tech whoever uh made this car but when you're driving it it's so nice i mean again you're driving the sport car it's supercar it's not the honda it's not the corvette chevy whatever that's a lamborghini that's representing the whole industry of lamborghini the tractors itself so the farmers can buy it uh and the car so everybody looking at you and you have a red interior it's super nice and you're feeling like like a famous famous person you're feeling so great yourself uh so rich but again i'm gonna tell you this 90 percent of the people who's driving this car especially with top down somewhere on the street in las vegas or in hollywood boulevard it's not the owner of this car it's car rented 90 percent uh for some period of time maybe for two hours i know some people are renting it for like a minute so you can take some pictures on instagram or whatever and bring it back to them because the driving of this car it costs money it's not just about the scratches you're gonna make or some damages on the car that's the maintenance which is worth a lot of money the brakes the tires the engine itself the all the seals whatever it's probably already leaking i'm not gonna go and check it out but the sound of engine is super healthy right now and the way you're driving it you can feel the steering wheel it's the steering wheel itself is already i would say it's kind of at the edge of gone and it has 20 something thousand miles on it and uh, but as soon as it's gonna come more to 40 there is a lot of people again they driving this car up to 100,000 miles and the car feeling itself so good but there is a different way how you're gonna drive it when you're owning the car you're driving it you're taking care of it you're not going so fast over the bumps so your suspension all your steering things all your steering parts they're not gonna be uh they're not gonna be shocked a lot right so you're driving it you're taking care of it because it's your own money you have to spend for the car but when it comes to the rental uh this car just it just squeezed all the juices and the way i'm looking at this car my friends they gave it to me just to drive it and to get an idea and to show it to you i'm not gonna buy this car uh just to do one quick review on the youtube but i do have that opportunity and uh, i'm i'm really grateful for that so the cool point about the lamborghini huracan 2017 the one we have right now that's the price back in 2017 it used to be 200,000, i think msrp based one you can add some brakes you can add something else this and that but it was 200,000, right so right now the auction price for the same car it's about the same money if we're talking about the same mileage it might going to be 180 175 something like that but if we go we're talking about something low mileage it's going to be msrp back in 2017 so right now in 2023 you can buy the used car with less mileage than this about 200 210 at the auction in good condition and that's in my opinion that's cool and it's kind of insane because after six years this car worth around the same money so that means after five six more years it's not going to be next uh so it's not going to be next Murcielaga, in my opinion, because Murcielagas, they made less cars than the Huracan. Huracan, it's just like the closer to Audi look, you know, but it's going to worth money even after five years from now. And it's really good. So if you want to buy this car as investment, number one, do the really good mechanical testing, do the inspection for this car, find someone who can do inspection for you not only the way you drive it you have to lift it up you have to check the frame you have to check all the parts you have to check all the components if the car 
rough right now so it might has a lot of damages and crack after under the the, the wrap so on the plastic maybe it's already put together from different pieces and especially if you can check the history of the car and see if this car used to be a rental you have to know and i would prefer to know so i would do some research google it maybe maybe the vin number google knows knows all the history about the car whoever owned it before whoever uh rented before so even if it were used to be the small company who didn't care about the cars and the maintenance and all kind of stuff i wouldn't buy the car with that kind of history but if there is a good company the huge one somewhere in miami or los angeles who has a lot of money and they they are taking care of their cars because that's the units not only they want to squeeze the juices and get all the money from rental but they want to keep it over the years and sell it later on with profit means they use this car for rental for several years they got a lot of money for the rental but at the end of that period when they decided they want to change it for something new they want to sell it with good cr at the auction or to the public doesn't matter but they're going to get a lot of money for the same car just because over the years they've taken care of it so the way Dalsha. so the way you're gonna jump in a car that's kind of famous handle everybody knows it and it's not the first car i would say if you're gonna check the aston martin the old one they have the same handle so what we have right here right now we do have some space for the driver but again right now the top is open that's the spider that's the beautiful and especially the seats the red leather it's reminded me like Audi R8, which the car was made from, and uh, all the Audi components, all the buttons in here and there, and the quality of those buttons, they are the same as the Audi. So, so they basically, the, the paint is peeling, it's kind of not, not sitting on the spot, it's hanging a little bit here, a little bit there, but again, it's kind of normal because you're not buying the quality of the car made, you buying the car itself, you buying the idea, you buying that experience, you're going to, you're gonna feel every day if you're gonna look at this car or every time you're gonna drive it. So you buy an experience basically, you're not buying the car, you buy an experience which is gonna hold you uh, for a period of time and plus on top of it, you buy an investment which is gonna be with you even if you're gonna go broke in some years. So if you have a title for this car, it's gonna help a lot for you and for your family. So buy one but not this one so the idea of the car maintenance free you're gonna get it as soon as you're gonna try to open the hood and there is nothing to see here i mean what you can do yourself that's the filters you can replace left and right and you can add some oil when the car is gonna tell you but i would say just check it before the car is gonna ask you to do so because those engines they're not so oil burny but sometimes i would say the sensor for the oil level that's the common issue for the audi and the huracan it's one of them so about the maintenance for this car again under the hood there is nothing to see here there is a lot of bolts they've been taken out and put it back already so somebody already do it but uh I would say this, there is an estimate for any kind of job on the Lamborghini Huracan. You can get, for example, the oil change. You might gonna do with someone who's gonna do it for 300 or there's people who's gonna do it for 1,000 or more. Just get an idea who you're doing the maintenance with and uh, if you trust in those guys and if they are taking responsibility. If they are doing oil change for 300 or 200, even 150, doesn't matter for this car, but they are taking responsibility for just an oil change the way they do it do it to them if they don't want to take responsibility even for thousand dollars they do an oil change for you don't even think to come to them because if something gonna happen to the engine if they didn't put enough oil or they put a different viscosity it's gonna cause some problems and the guy just gonna refuse it like uh, Jufi Lube, you're gonna sign the paperwork before they're gonna do the oil change. So basically they are refusing any kind of warranty in case they did something wrong. I mean, if you do have this car, just find the guys you're gonna trust for the period of time during you have this car and during your bank account, holding enough money for any kind of maintenance for this beautiful Audi. <music> So when you're jumping in the car, the things you're gonna see 
<laughs> it might gonna shock you or push you back from the car. So number one, the car welcoming you with airbag malfunction light. That's number one. Number two, all the air vents, they missing that pin. And usually I can see it on the Honda or Toyota, some like uh, not so expensive cars, but here is already missing because again, that's the Audi quality. And on the passenger side, because nobody using it, it's still present there. So all the buttons, they already, like I say, peeling off. So if you drove the, if you drove the newer Teslas, you might gonna be able to find the turn signal. But if it's not, uh, you're gonna see it on the steering wheel. That's a common right now, and like I say, on the Tesla, but it's kind of cool if you would be like three, four, five years ago driving this car. Is it comfortable? No, it's not. Do I have some space for my leg? Legs? No, I do not have it at all. Am I feeling myself famous or gorgeous? Uh, no, I'm not. What I can see when I'm turning my head left I can see there's a wrap mm, hiding the white color, original one of this car. Okay, all the panels, they kind of live in their life itself and making a lot of noise. But it's cool, you are in Lamborghini, but if you want to take this car to the Willow Springs on the racetrack and just prove it, I'm wrong and this car is so beautiful and it's insanely driving. You would be right, 100%. Uh, but don't forget about your brakes. Don't forget about your tires and don't forget about this engine because if you pump, water pump start leaking and you have only 27, 25,000 miles in the car and you're driving on the racetrack with 110, 120 outside, you might gonna face some problems you're not expecting at all from the Lamborghini. It is empty inside just because the car is supposed to be super light and super empty, so it's gonna give you a lot of performance, not a lot of torque. That's why it's called LP580. So basically, it is a 580 horsepower, but it's not, it's 5. 73 so there's probably a lot of different videos about the performance about 0 60 how this car doing i do not have a dyna i cannot tell you what's the horsepower left in this car right now and i'm not gonna do any crazy stuff i'm just trying to drive it through the streets and see how i'm gonna feel myself if i'm gonna enjoy it as a daily driver number one i'm not gonna personally enjoy it as a daily driving because i do not have space for my legs inside the car. Number two, I cannot put any stuff in the car. I cannot put my kids. I can put only one, the older one, but uh, my other one is gonna be mad at me just because of that. So what we have here, we do not have enough space for any kind of stuff. So we do have a charger. We do have that uh, HDMI, whatever, connector, uh, Audi famous one, so you can connect it to your phone. Strata Sport Corsa, that's the mode you can drive it. And the Sport Strata Corsa, you probably know the, what the Strata means. Sport and Corsa, like super nice, uh, super performance mode for the race truck. But I wouldn't take this car, especially if it's used one. If I would buy the car like that for myself, just to keep it over the time and see if I can squeeze a little bit money off after five, seven years. Number one, I would look for the car with low mileage. Number two, I would look for the car with no rental history. How's the dual clutch doing? Dual clutch is doing good on this car right now. So there is no delays between shifting. The engine sounds super nice and healthy if they didn't done any work on it it's just insane how the engine holding itself during the period of time that's cool super nice and it's kind of soft the engine the exhaust system it's loud but same time it is soft it's not making so much noise the reaction of the people around you they know you driving this car oh no the clutch is not feeling it's not feeling good itself on a low speed. I don't like it. Personally, I do not like it. Personally, I wouldn't buy it. And besides, there's a lot of 
other stuff already coming on. There is a check your windshield liquid, check the bulbs, airbag, and on and on and on. I don't like Audi. I don't like it at all. I have my strong opinion about the Audi. Over the years, I've been facing problems with those kind of cars. Doesn't matter what kind of car you're going to get. Lamborghini, Audi, SQ, whatever, S. That's the Audi. So if you want to get the huge, nice... Uh, <clears throat> so if you want to get experience of your life and buy this car because you just like the way it looks, you like the design inside, outside, you don't care about the maintenance, you don't care about the way it drives, you don't care about the space for the driver, or for the passenger, you just like the way the car looks and you do have that money to spend, so buy it. Maybe you are the pilot, maybe you're flying every day in your life and making money and you want to keep this car and drive it once a month, so it's going to be more than enough.